Second most asked question, will removing my oil pan void my warranty? And to give you guys a straight answer, it's gonna be a question mark for me. And I'll tell you why. I had a viewer call me from the East Coast talking about he's got three open cases with Toyota right now, basically expressing his concerns with the car. Is this excessive RTV going to cause a future issue? What does that mean warranty wise in the future? Hey, I really do plan to track this car. Basically, he told me Toyota of America's response was not very positive for him. He thinks he's just gonna sell the car at this point, which, oh man, talk about a customer service snafu, right? Ugh. But here's what I did. I sent an email to both Subaru of America and Toyota USA, basically posing as an owner. And to sum up the email, it was like, hey, I just got a GR86, or hey, I just got a BRZ. I'm concerned about this excess RTV issue. What if I have an independent shop remove my oil pan so that we can clean the oil strainer? Will that void my warranty? And so here's the exact answer I got from Toyota USA. Hi, Mr. Lee. Thank you for contacting Toyota Motor Sales USA Incorporated. We appreciate the opportunity to address your warranty concern in relation to your 2020 GR86. While we do not recommend modifying our vehicles outside of their factory specifications, the modification of a vehicle does not automatically void the warranty. Does not automatically void the warranty. The warranty is voided for those components slash parts that are modified or if a failure on a Toyota genuine component slash part is caused by the modification itself. And then they show me where I can go look up recalls and how I can find a dealership to answer more of my questions. But anyway, fair response. So to sum it up, modifying a vehicle by itself will not void the warranty. There has to be some justifiable cause, right? Just for example, you know, you had me take off the oil pan, clean the oil strainer, and then, you know, you bring it to Toyota for an oil burning smell, and then you, they found out that I didn't seal the oil pan correctly or something, right? That would not be covered under warranty because there was a modification made, right? You know, an independent shop resealed the oil pan incorrectly, and now you have an oil leak that, you know, rightfully shouldn't be covered under warranty. An independent shop removing the oil pan itself did not void the warranty. In this case, it was the workmanship that was not covered under warranty. Being an ex-Subaru tech, I was hopeful for what Subaru of America would respond to me with. And in the end, they responded to me with nothing. 